Do you ever feel less creative than other people? I mean, I do. I got this at a thrift store and I thought, why not play with it together while we talk about creativity? We mostly do vintage around here, but on Tuesdays we pause to get a little more joy for our journey. This is somebody's style put together, but not mine, so we're going to reuse some of it. All the research says that everybody's creative. You know, kids naturally gravitate towards making things and doing things. And you know what's fun about that? Is kids, they don't really care if they're good at it or not. Or they do because they know every piece is a masterpiece. But then somehow we get older and we decide, ooh, you know, you have to be good at something to try it. I'd stop right now if I had to have a lot of training to arrange flowers. I don't have training. I just have opinions of what looks good to me. Um, I could use this one, but no, that doesn't look good to me. And these I'll save for the fall. I mean, this could go with, but it's so much taller. So I'm just gonna say no for now. See how easy creativity was for me? I just have opinions. And you know what? You have them too. I know because you leave comments all the time about the things you like or don't like about what I do. Maybe you didn't know it, but that's your creativity coming out. And what I like to remind you guys is there is no right or wrong way to do decorating. It's what you enjoy. What do you think so far? Everybody's got an opinion. And how many times do you think I'll rearrange this before I get it to where I like it? Doesn't matter. It's all about what you like and your process, long or short, it's your process. And you guys, if you know me at all, you know my process involves moss often. What I really wish sometimes is that I could give someone confidence. I wish I could offer you the inner knowledge that you're creative, that you can try things, that when somebody told you you weren't enough or you didn't create well enough, they were wrong. I had somebody tell me that in high school and I've kind of created for a lifetime, for my career. I've made an absolute mess at my desk here, but it's really close. And I think I'll go and add a bow or some ribbon or some lace. You might hate moss. This creative project might not be your style at all, but you know what? That's okay, because you can go create your own. I'm Sandy from Whimsy Barn, so check out my online shop and come back tomorrow. We'll definitely have more vintage vibes goodness. You are so much more creative than you think you are.